When you see a goat limping, it's easy to jump to conclusions. Our minds often race to the most obvious explanation. We might think, oh, it's just a little stumble, or they probably just twisted their ankle. You might assume it's a minor injury, maybe a cut from a sharp rock, a small puncture wound, or a simple bruise sustained while playing with the other goats. These things happen, especially in a lively herd. But if the limp lingers, if it doesn't seem to be improving with rest or if it actually worsens over time, it's a sign that something more significant might be going on beneath the surface. Don't dismiss it as just a temporary setback. Especially in cold, damp weather, when joints tend to stiffen and discomfort can be amplified, a persistent limp should raise a red flag. The cold and wet conditions can exacerbate underlying issues, making them more noticeable. It's time to think deeper, to look beyond the superficial, and to consider the possibility of a more complex underlying cause. Don't settle for the easy answer, dig a little deeper to understand what's truly happening. Sometimes the real culprit, the hidden source of the problem, is arthritis, a degenerative joint condition. A surprisingly common problem in goats especially as they get older, but it can affect younger goats too depending on their genetics and lifestyle. Arthritis makes joints stiff and swollen, limiting their range of motion and causing significant discomfort with every step. Turning simple movement like walking, grazing or even just standing up, into a painful chore that the goat will try to avoid. For a goat mobility is everything, it's how they find food, escape predators and interact with their herd, it's essential to their well-being. A limping goat can't thrive, it can't compete for resources, it becomes vulnerable, and its quality of life diminishes significantly. And neither can your farm. A healthy, productive herd is the foundation of a successful goat farming operation. Ignoring a limp is like ignoring a leaky roof, a small problem that, if left unaddressed, will inevitably lead to bigger, more costly problems down the road. It only gets worse. The condition will deteriorate, the pain will intensify, and the goat's overall health will suffer. Good animal care means being a detective, observing, investigating, and piecing together clues to understand what's really going on with your animals. Is the goat old, making it more susceptible to age-related conditions? Is its diet balanced, providing all the necessary nutrients for joint health? Has the herd been tested for diseases that can manifest as lameness or joint problems? Are there any underlying infections contributing to the inflammation? A limp can be the first clue, the initial warning sign, that points to a bigger issue lurking beneath the surface. It's your signal to investigate further. Treating just the symptom like bandaging the leg or giving a painkiller, won't fix the underlying problem, it's just a temporary band-aid. Understanding the root cause, whether it's a traumatic injury, a systemic disease, a nutritional deficiency, or the onset of arthritis, is crucial for effective treatment. Is the first step to real recovery, to restoring the goat's mobility, and improving its overall well-being. It's about addressing the core issue, not just masking the symptoms. That's what good animal husbandry is all about being observant, proactive, and committed to providing the best possible care for your animals, ensuring their health and happiness. Arthritis in goats. It's a condition that can significantly impact their quality of life, affecting their mobility and overall well-being. Just like in humans, arthritis in goats involves inflammation of the joints, leading to pain and stiffness. Recognizing the signs early and understanding the underlying causes are crucial for effective management. Arthritis in goats usually stems from three main sources. These sources each have their own unique characteristics and require different approaches to address them effectively. Understanding these sources is the first step in providing appropriate care for your goats. First, there's caprine arthritis encephalitis, or CAE, a viral disease. CAE causes painful swollen joints and can also affect other parts of the body, including the brain and spinal cord. This viral infection is a significant concern for goat owners as it can spread through the herd and lead to chronic health issues. Second, nutritional arthritis. This type of arthritis is caused by imbalances in essential minerals like calcium and phosphorus. These minerals play a vital role in bone and joint health, and deficiencies or excesses can lead to inflammation and joint damage. Third, there's the wear and tear of aging. This is known as degenerative joint disease or osteoarthritis. Over time, the cartilage that cushions the joints can break down, leading to pain and reduce mobility. This is a common issue in older animals, just like in humans. Each type of arthritis has a different cause and therefore requires a different solution. 
Identifying this specific type affecting your goat is essential for developing an effective treatment plan. Sei is infectious and unfortunately has no cure, but its symptoms can be managed with medication and supportive care. This can help improve the goat's comfort and quality of life, even though the underlying infection remains. Nutritional arthritis often starts right in the feed bucket. If you fix the diet and provide the correct balance of minerals, you can often fix the problem and alleviate the goat's discomfort. Ensuring proper nutrition is a key aspect of managing this type of arthritis. Wear and tear arthritis is a common ailment in older goats, and it's also frequently seen in those with a long working life where their joints have been subjected to considerable stress. A veterinarian can be instrumental in helping you pinpoint the underlying cause of the arthritis. They can conduct blood tests to check for CAE, review the diet for nutritional imbalances, and consider the goat's age and history to assess the possibility of wear and tear. A thorough examination is crucial for accurate diagnosis. Knowing the source of the arthritis is truly half the battle. Once you have a clear understanding of what's causing the problem, you can take targeted action. Once you know exactly what you're dealing with and the specific type of arthritis affecting your goat, you can develop a real effective plan to manage the condition and improve your goat's well-being. This plan might involve medication, dietary changes, or other supportive therapies. And that's how you give your goat the best life possible, even in the face of arthritis. By understanding the causes, working with your vet, and implementing a tailored management plan, you can help your goat live a comfortable and fulfilling life. Say is a major threat in goat herds. It spreads mainly from mother to kid through milk, especially colostrum. The classic sign, swollen, painful front knees, big knees. Say can also cause hard udders, weight loss, and in kids, fatal brain disease. Many goats carry the virus silently, spreading it without symptoms. Only a blood test reveals the truth. There's no cure, so prevention is key. Remove kids at birth, feed heat-treated colostrum, and raise them on pasteurized milk. It's a lot of work, but it's the only way to break the cycle. Testing and careful management are your best tools. What goats eat directly affects their joints. Nutritional arthritis often starts with an imbalanced calcium to phosphorus ratio, too much grain, not enough minerals. This weakens bones and inflames joints, especially in weathers. Prevention starts with quality forage as the diet's foundation. Use goat-specific balanced grain only when needed. Always provide a free-choice, loose mineral supplement made for goats, not sheep. Test your hay and water to catch hidden imbalances. If lameness appears, review every part of the diet. Getting nutrition right is one of the most powerful ways to protect your herd. Don't underestimate the feed bucket. Years of activity wear down a goat's joints just like an old truck on bumpy roads. Cartilage thins, bones rub, and pain sets in. Especially in older goats, heavy breeding bucks and hardworking dairy does. Past injuries can also trigger arthritis later. Early signs are subtle slower movement, reluctance to jump, or stiffness on cold mornings. You can't reverse time, but you can make life easier. Soft bedding, easy access to food and water, and a safe environment. The goal isn't to cure but to keep your goat comfortable. Adjust your care as they age. Old timers deserve a gentle retirement. Goats are masters of disguise when it comes to pain. They have a natural instinct to hide any signs of weakness, so you need to be observant. It's crucial to develop a keen eye and pay close attention to their behavior and physical condition. Regular observation is key to early detection. Limping is the most obvious sign, a clear indicator that something is amiss. But it can vary, sometimes subtle, a barely noticeable hitch in their step, sometimes severe, where they can barely put any weight on the affected leg. Watch for changes in gait, any deviation from their normal, fluid movement. Reluctance to walk, a hesitation to move around or keep up with the herd, or not bearing weight on a particular leg, holding it up in the air to avoid pressure, Swollen joints, hard with say E, often a chronic issue, soft and warm with other types, indicating inflammation, are red flags that demand immediate attention. Run your hands down their legs regularly, feeling for any abnormalities or signs of discomfort, to spot changes, even subtle ones, before they become major problems. Painful goats may avoid touch, flinching or pulling away when you try to examine them, or cry out when handled, a clear indication that they're experiencing pain in that area. Behavior changes matter. Any deviation from their normal routine should raise a red flag. More lying down than usual, less climbing on rocks or playing, reduced appetite, a lack of interest in food, or falling behind in the herd, 
unable to keep up with the others. Dairy does may give less milk, a sudden drop in production can be a sign of underlying pain or illness. Bucks may lose interest in breeding, displaying a lack of libido or reluctance to mate. Some goats prey on their knees, adopting a hunched posture to relieve abdominal pain. Or grind their teeth in pain, a subtle but significant sign of discomfort. Odd postures or shifting weight between legs are clues that they're trying to find a comfortable position. Put these signs together to see the full picture, considering all the factors to make an informed assessment. When you spot them, act quickly. Don't delay in seeking veterinary advice or providing appropriate care. Early intervention makes all the difference in their recovery and overall well-being. The sooner you address the issue, the better the outcome will be for your goat. Once arthritis is diagnosed, it's time for action. Joint supplements like glucosamine and MSM can help mild cases. For serious pain, your vet may prescribe anti-inflammatory drugs, always use as directed. Comfort is key. Soft bedding, flat ground, and easy access to food and water. A goat coat in winter can soothe sore joints. Keep up with hoof trimming. Overgrown hooves worsen joint pain. Adjust the environment to minimize hazards. Managing arthritis takes a team effort. Supplements, medicine, comfort, and care. Every step helps your goat move better. Quality of life is the goal. Prevention is your best defense against arthritis. Start by controlling CAE. Buy from tested herds, test your own, and separate positives from negatives. For K-positive goats, remove kids at birth and raise them on safe milk. Nutrition matters every day. Base diets on quality hay or pasture use balanced grain and always offer loose goat minerals. Don't skimp on minerals, they're vital for joint health. Keep pens and pastures safe, injuries can lead to arthritis later. Dry, clean floors and safe climbing structures prevent accidents. Regularly review your herd's health and environment. Prevention is ongoing, not a one-time fix. Protecting joints now means fewer problems later. Healthy goats are happy goats. Healthy joints mean healthy goats and a healthy farm. Whether for milk, meat fiber or companionship, your goat's well-being is your top priority. Arthritis affects every part of a goat's life so prevention and management are daily commitments. It starts before birth with K control continues with good nutrition and includes safe housing and attentive care. Watch for early signs and act fast. Invest in joint health and you invest in your farm's future. Healthy goats are more productive, fertile and joyful. Preventing arthritis saves money and heartache. Never ignore a limp look deeper, be proactive and keep your herd comfortable. Your goats depend on you for a long, happy life. That's good farming and just common sense.